Hello everyone, it's your young adult services librarian Jessica Wilkinson and for this week's teen book talk I'm going to talk about some of the biographies that can be found in the teen area. So let's get started. The first one is Braiding Sweetgrass for Young Adults by Robin Wall Kimmerer. Drawing from her experiences as an indigenous scientist, botanist Robin Wall Kimmerer demonstrated how all living things from strawberries and witch hazel to water lilies and lichen provide us with gifts and lessons every day in her best-selling book, Braiding Sweetgrass. Adapted for young adults by Monique Gray Smith, this new edition reinforces how wider ecological understanding stems from listening to the Earth's oldest teachers, the plants around us. With informative sidebars, reflection questions, and art from illustrator Nicole Neidhart, Braiding Sweetgrass for Young Adults brings indigenous wisdom, scientific knowledge, and the lessons of plant life to a new generation. The next book is Reaching for the Moon by Katherine Johnson. The inspiring autobiography of NASA mathematician Katherine Johnson who helped launch Apollo 11. As a young girl, Katherine Johnson showed an exceptional aptitude for math. In school, she quickly skipped ahead several grades and was soon studying complex equations with the support of a professor who saw great promise in her. But ability and opportunity did not always go hand in hand. As an African-American and a girl growing up in an era of brutal racism and sexism, Catherine faced daily challenges. Still, she lived her life with her father's words in mind. You are no better than anyone else, and nobody else is better than you. In the early 1950s, Catherine was thrilled to join the organization that would become NASA. She worked on many of NASA's biggest projects, including the Apollo 11 mission that landed the first men on the moon. Katherine Johnson's story was made famous in the best-selling book and Oscar-nominated film, Hidden Figures. Now, in Reaching for the Moon, she tells her own story for the first time in a live autobiography that will inspire young readers everywhere. The last book I'm going to talk about today is The Twilight Man by Corin Shodmi. We recognize Rod Serling as our sharply dressed, cigarette-smoking tour guide of the Twilight Zone, but the entertainment business once regarded him as the angry young man of Hollywood. Before he became the revered master of science fiction, Rod Serling was just a writer who had to fight to make his voice heard. He vehemently challenged the networks and viewership alike to expand their minds and standards, rejecting notions of censorship, racism, and war. But it wasn't until he began to write about real-world enemies in the guise of aliens and monsters that people lent their ears. In doing so, he pushed the television industry to the edge of glory, and himself to the edge of sanity. Rod operated in a dimension beyond that of contemporary society, making him both a revolutionary and an outsider. These are just three of the biographies that can be found in the teen area, so be sure to come on in and check them out. Thank you.